Hello everyone, I've got a 2.0 walkthrough for you with Dahaka. I'm going to be playing with a subscriber to the YouTube channel who I found through the U7 chat channel, which you should join, named Nanoha. And we're going to hop into this real quick just to show you how to join it. So you just go into the right next to this friends list right here, you click on this tab, click find, and then you type in U7 in the search bar. And then this will pop up in the left here, the U7, click view info, then click join chat. And then you'll be in the chat and you can join the 27 other members that are already in it. And then you can play missions with me or anyone else that's in it. All right, so this strategy does require Swan to be your teammate. We need the extra gas for it. And what we're going to use is the Primal Ultralisk, the Tyrannosaur, and then we're also going to be using the Primal Ultra, or Hydralisk, that is. So we'll cover anti-air with the Hydralisk, and then we'll cover the ground with the Ultralisk. And we will be using some Primal Zerglings and Ravazors right in the beginning for early defense and whatnot. Okay, for Master Skill Points and Power Set 1, we've got... Devour buff duration, power set 2, pack leaders, active duration, and power set 3, gene mutation chance. We're going to be using that from now on instead of Dahaka's attack speed because I believe this is more beneficial to us. Okay, we're going to be playing on the Mount Warfare co-op mission on Brutal Difficulty. Alright, it looks like Nanoha is mastery level 98, and you're going to have to correct me if I pronounced your name wrong. I'm sorry if I did. <laughs> so yeah, just let me know later on if I pronounced it wrong, and then in future videos if you're in with me, then I will pronounce your name correctly. Okay, so right from the start here, pump out some of these primal drones. We want to get the good economy going. And then we're going to get down some extractors because, or right away we're going to get down some extractors because we want to get that extra gas since primal ultra, or hydralis and ultralis both require that extra gas. They're expensive. Okay, and then as soon as the Hawk is ready, we're just going to start doing some work with him and try to level him up as much as possible. Okay, we'll get some of these drones onto the extractor here. Okay, we'll get some hotkeys set up too. Okay, we're going to get Devour and Leap as our first abilities. And it looks like we're going up against Zerg, so that's going to be a little bit more difficult than if it was not them. Okay, we'll get a couple more drones out. Devour this roach. Use our leap attack. Okay, those guys are dead. I'm going to move over here to start clearing out stuff over here. Get another extractor down. Get a primal warden down. Warden down. And then we'll get another one out right away too. Okay, we're going to devour this roach here. Use our leap attack against these zerglings. Kill them all right away. Bait some of these guys towards us. Okay, I'll use our leap attack on this roach. Devour that roach. And we're going to kill some of these zerglings here. Okay, we'll get these drones into the extractor. Okay, we're going to leave that spine crawler alone until we have some more units down. As soon as one of those wardens, primal wardens are down, we're going to get down Levig's den. And we're going to get primal attacks level 1 now, since we have extra resources. Get one of these Hydralis. Going to run back, use our leap attack against these Zerglings. And I think we leveled up with the Hawk already. Okay, we'll get primal regeneration level 1. Oh, and we leveled up again. We'll get devour level 2. Devour that Hydralis there. Just going to wait a sec. Get some more drones down, and we're gonna get Glebig's den. Location, but there are still other okay, and we're gonna get some Zerglings pumped out. And we're gonna do some more devouring of these guys. Okay, we'll use our leap attack. Okay, we're just gonna base these guys back, use our leap attack again. Devour that roach there. Okay, and then we're gonna intercept this enemy wave. Turn these guys into Ravazors. Okay, we'll use our leap attack. Kill a ton of these Zerglings right away. We're going to devour one of them for to get their increased movement speed. And devour another one of them. Okay, we'll use Intimidating Roar, or that'll be our next ability we're going to get. And we're going to start clearing out the stuff down here so we can expand. Get some more drones out again. I'm going to get one of these drones ready to create Mervar's Den. And we're going to get Primal Carapace level 1. Okay, we'll 
Okay, I'm going to move up here now and start clearing out whatever we can find up this way. Because this is where the bonus objective is going to be at. Okay, we'll devour that guy. Just going to wait a sec for devour to be ready again. And we're going to expand too while we're at it. Evolution complete. And we're going to have to get ready to defend in just a second here. System defenses have been activated again. Oh, yep, here comes a wave. Okay, we'll devour this roach. This intimidating roar, slow these guys down. Use our leap attack, finish the other two off. And we're going to devour this ultralisk when it comes for us. Get some increased armor from that guy, too. Oh, and I think we have Thorns activated right now, too. I'm actually going to deep tunnel over here to help out these Goliaths. Going to use our Leap Attack, Intimidating Roar. Get the Haka back, we don't want to... Oh! Something killed the Haka. I think... Huh, that was kind of weird. It almost seemed like we took friendly fire damage there, that was kind of strange. But, maybe I accidentally selected my the Haka unit. Anyways, we're going to get another, devour another drone here, and we're going to get out some Hydralis. Okay, the Hawk has been revived, we're going to get him out in just a second. I think we're going to get out Flevig to help us out. Okay, and we're going to start clearing out this tower. Okay, we're going to deep tunnel over here with Flevig. Okay, good. Taking all this stuff out. I'm gonna take out this tower real quick, like. Okay, and we're gonna get Mervar's den down now. And we'll get the upgrades muscular augments, movement speed, and attack range for Hydralis. And then. Actually, we don't need this. Uh, we that, that uh, That's an upgrade for the Impalers, and we're not going to get any upgrades for the Impalers. Because we're not going to be using those units. We're going to be using the Ultralis and the Tyrannosaurs. Okay, we're going to use our Intimidating Roar, use our Leap Ability. We're going to get Chitinous Plating and Scorching Breath. We need that on the Zipplings here. And now we're going to clear out the bonus objective area. Okay, we're going to have some more Hydralis. I'm going to get these guys in hotkeys here, we're going to get attacks level 2, and we are going to get, uh, start rallying all of our units down to our expansion. Okay, we'll devour some of these guys, Scorching Breath, get Keen Senses so we can detect cloaked units, and we're going to get this Data Core in just a second here. Okay, just keep on pumping more of these guys out. Okay, and then as soon as Mervar's den is done, then we can get Dacron's den. That'll be the last den that we're gonna get. Okay, it's gonna tell us that we can get this bonus objective pretty soon here. Okay, we're gonna get these greater worms out to help. These are our special abilities, the greater bile stream. And okay, I'm gonna have to. I'll just keep the Haka here for defense and a couple of these units. Send the rest of the Hydras over there to help defend. We're gonna need some assistance. Okay, we're gonna get some extractors down here. Okay, there's the bonus objective. We're gonna start downloading the Guardian. He's intimidating Rar, and we're gonna leap right on top of these units. He's scorching breath and devour one of them. Okay, he's scorching breath again. He's our leap attack and scorching breath again. Having a little bit of lag with our internet connection, it seems. It's okay though, we're still doing alright. Okay. Oh boy. Yep. Okay, we're gonna get Mavara up here and our primal worm up here. Okay, we're gonna keep these guys over here. We're gonna get Scipion down low now. And our teammate got us covered. That was good. Okay, we're going to clear out the stuff up here, and we're going to get Olaria, the last download, real quick, and then we're going to move out. Okay, we're going to get some Ravazors out of these guys, and we're going to get uh, Ground Carapace level 2, get these guys onto the gas. Okay, we got the bonus objective, I'm going to deep tunnel the Hawk over here. Okay, and we're going to get the bar level 3, and we're just going to keep on moving out. Up this way. 
I'm going to devour that Broodlord, get a ranged attack, use Intimidating Roar, Scorch of Breath, and we're going to clear out this tower. Okay, and now we need to get Dacron's Den. Okay, and we'll get a tax level 3, get some more of these drones out, and we're going to get some more Hydralis. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotta take out these Zerglings. Use Scorching Breath here. And we're gonna use Scorching Breath again. And devour this Mutalisk. Okay, we're gonna take out this tower. And I'll use the Haka to go take on these enemy waves. And Glevig. I'll clear this one out. Okay, these guys should be able to clear this up just fine. Okay, we're gonna get these guys on the gas. Okay, and we're gonna get some more primal drones. Yeah, we're gonna get some more primal drones. And we're gonna get some more primal wardens out. We need some more production capability. Looks like Oriana took a lot of damage there. That is too bad, but we should be able to make a comeback. Okay, we're going to create some of these primal worms as well while we're at it. Defensive structures. Okay, we'll use our scorching breath. And here comes another enemy wave. Okay, we get all these guys in the same hotkey. Get Chitness plate, or Carapace level 3. And then we'll get uh, Primal Instinct level 3, or Primal Healing, I guess, Primal Regeneration, that's what it's called. Okay. And I'll get all of these these guys up here. I'll use the Deep Tunnel ability for defense. Get the defensive structures up over here. Okay, Dacron is ready. We're going to get Brutal Charge. Actually, I want to get Healing Adaptation first and then Impaling Strike, and then we'll also get uh, Barrage of Spikes, and then Tyrant's Protection. And then we'll get Brutal Charge last. Get everything queued up there, and we're going to get all these Ultralisks out now. And we're going to get some Hydras and some Zerglings. Spend all of our resources so we can just power through this. Okay, we're all upgraded now. Aruna, or however you say it, Aru, Aranas, Aranas, <laughs> Aranas transport is has a lot of health back, so that's really good. We're sitting pretty good again, and we're actually ready to just like plow through all of these opponents. So I think we can do it. We're even going to use Dacron here to just make a big impact on these guys. We're gonna summon some of our primal worms too. We just want to power through everything now. Okay, we're going to intimidate our level two. We're going to devour this hybrid. He's intimidating Roar, he's our leap attack, he's scorching breath. Alright, and we're gonna get we're gonna use our forward forward click here, and we're gonna get in Ravar. Got an enemy wave coming over here it looks like. Oh, enemy wave coming for our base actually. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our Worms deep tunneled over there for defense. Okay, I'll get some Hydra sent over here. I'll rally those guys to right there. And we're going to clear out all the stuff here wherever those towers can spawn. Use the Tumidane Roar, Scorching Breath, Devour this Ultralisk, use our Leap Attack. Okay, we're going to pound, pound this enemy wave, use our Scorching Breath ability, get Deadly Reach, Leap, level 2. Okay, and we're going to turn some of these Ultralists into those Tyrannosaurs now. Okay, and we're going to get a bunch more Ultralists out. And we're going to spend some of our minerals on these Zerglings. We're going to start clearing out stuff up here too. And we wave right there. Oh, those guys are in a little bit of trouble. Move the Hydralists back. Restoration efforts have reached the halfway point. Okay, we're gonna devour that hybrid. 
Okay, well, we will get Intimidating Roar level 3. And we gotta kill this tower now. Okay, we'll turn these guys into Ravazors. And we just about have all of the upgrades from uh, Dacron's Den. We'll take out this tower, the Scorching Breath. Okay, nuke drop down, that's good. We just about have Dacron, or Dahaka completely leveled up. Enemy wave, we're gonna summon Glevig to defend. Levig will be able to take all these guys out. He's tough. Okay, we're gonna get some more Tyrannosaurs. And get the suppression tower. So this co-op mission actually is pretty tough. <laughs> I didn't think this was tough because I played with the Overmind, and that guy's just so good that everything that you play with him seems easy. <laughs> but no, it, it's actually a pretty tough co-op mission. It's really fun, holy cow. Okay, we're using too many to slow these guys down. Okay, and we're gonna get a bunch of Hydralis, some more Ultralis out, and a bunch more Zerglings again. But yeah, look at these guys. 21 damage. With their Kazer Blades, they do 47 damage. And they have Barrage of Spikes, and Leisha Barrage of Spikes, dealing 100 damage to enemy ground units around the Tyrannosaur, which is one of the upgrades we got. And then they also have Tyrannus Protection, grants nearby friendly units two armor, which is another upgrade we got, passive ability. And then they got Impaling Strike. Melee attacks have a 20% chance to stun, which is another upgrade that we got. And then the same with the Ultralist. They've got those abilities, except for Brutal Charge is the, another upgrade that we got just specifically specifically for the Ultralist. Okay, we're going to get some more Hydras out now. Oh, we're actually capped on supply. Alright, so we are going to get these Worms down here. We'll deep tunnel, deep tunnel them in in a little bit here. Okay, time for us to just plow through these guys. Deadly Charge does have its benefits, that's for sure. But I think I am going to get some more Tyrannosaurs out here. Okay, we're going to devour this Broodlord, get a ranged attack. Oh yes, we need to get the bonus. I'm going to get the main objective while he gets the bonus. Okay, I'm going to devour that hybrid. I'm going to move that weak Tyrannosaur back. Got to do a little bit of micro here. Get Scorching Breath on this guy. He's our leak, Intimidating Roar. Scorching Breath again. Okay, I'm going to get a lot more Hydras out and a couple more Ultras. Okay, we're really powering through these, these guys. These Tyrannosaurs are very strong. Holy cow, they do so much damage. It's crazy. Okay, we're gonna devour this hy this uh, hybrid here. Oh, I don't have the de devour available. Okay, we're gonna devour it now. Okay, we're just gonna keep on pushing through. He's intimidating Roar. Use our leap attack, scorching breath. Oh, jeez, this army is so strong. It's crazy. So make sure to get Tyrannos. I think a Tyrannosaurus can actually attack air units. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they have a specific attack for air units. <laughs> so I didn't actually realize that before, but yeah, definitely still incorporate the Hydralis just because, I mean, they're a good ranged unit to have right behind the Tyrannosaurs. So you can do more damage that way. Because if you have just melee units, you can only surround a target. You can't actually uh, attack from a range. If you attack with ranged units, you can surround the target and then attack from a range at the same time. So it all works out. Oh, we got a suppression tower back here. We're going to go take that out. And holy cow, this is probably one of my favorite strategies with this guy now. It takes a little bit to get going, but wow, is it good. Okay, we're going to split up our armies here a little bit. we got to defend against this. We're going to get Glevig out too. Oh, our teammate just used a nuke, so we got that handled. And these guys are just going to pummel this. Here, we're going to make another Tyrannosaur. And we're going to get some more Hydralis out. Oh, actually, we're completely supply capped. All right, we're paused right now. So far, so good. And we got both bonus objectives. Any upgrades I'm missing? I think I have. Yeah, we've got all the upgrades for the Hydralis, the Ultralis, and then we have both Primal Attacks and Primal Carapace. So we're good to go. Okay, we're going to use our Devour ability. Yeah, actually, we, we weren't even able to devour anything. Oh, and having these Ravazors. 
extra benefit because they are uh, ra another ranged unit. But, but yeah, I would definitely go for. Uh, well, you know, honestly, if you're looking for ranged units, well, no, nah, I'd stick with the Hydralis. It's nice to have that extra an extra air unit because if you only have Tyrannosaurs, I mean, you have the Tyrannosaurs are meant to attack the ground units and the air units, but Hydralis will be able to support those ground and air attacks. So if you only get if you only get the Ravazors, then you can only attack ground units. Because Ravazors don't have an anti-air attack. So that's one of the downsides if you just went pure Ravazors and Ultralis slash Tyrannosaurs. But anyway, I would just incorporate a little bit of all of it. Hydralis, Ultralis. And then also get Yeah, what was I saying? Hydralis. Ultralis, Tyrannosaurs, and a couple Ravazors if you have any Zorglins left over, if you have those excess minerals. And wow, that worked out great with the Swan teammate. Holy cow, you gotta try it out. <laughs> that was so powerful. I definitely want to play that again, but I'm not going to try that strategy if I don't have a Swan teammate, because I've tried to use the Ultralis with the Haka, and they're just too expensive if you don't have the extra gas income. Let's show you the end game stats here. Okay. And that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Leave a like if you liked the video. Thank you to Na Nanoha, Nanoha for playing with me. And I will see you all in the next one.